So we're at GDC, we're checking out uh, Dice Soccer Town, right? Uh, yeah, so the first thing I want to get out of the way is it's a working title. Okay. We're not done with the game yet. We're almost done, we're close to done, but uh, one of the last things we'll do is get a proper name for it. Right now it's just a literal description of the mechanics. Okay. Uh, but this is going to change. So, uh, but what the game essentially is, is it's a, a town building sports team management game. Okay. All right? So uh, you move into this little town as the manager of the, of the town's football team. And it's a small, lazy, rustic town, but everyone here likes playing uh, football as their hobby, or soccer as you call it. And uh, your job is to organize them into, uh, and in, into a football team, into a soccer team. And um, in order to build the team, you're going to build the town as well. So the town's full of like people with jobs, and uh, you can go knock on their doors and find out what they do and talk to them. And uh, you might find a bicycle mechanic, or you might find the animal shelter, you might find a vet. And all these guys actually, you collect them into as these little players, and they're the guys you can use in your team. Every player is a uniquely curated, crafted uh, character, uh, which who has a, a dice and an ability that's a function of those dice. I'll come to that in a bit. But basically, I've already. Uh, drafted them into a little team of three forwards, three defenders, and a goalie. And I'm going to take them and jump into the stadium uh, right away. Uh, as you can see, it's a, a fully functional town. You can uh, you can design it however you like, but the stadiums are where all the action happens. It's a little rundown, and you'll have to upgrade it as you go. I'm going into a game um, against another player. Hopefully, it won't be too hard. Yes, let's see. So this is an actual player, this is a bot? Uh, it's, yeah. a, it's an AI controlled player. So it's okay. a player's team, it's a design team that someone, so, some, so someone it's, made. It's like a ghost battle basically. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, so um, as you saw, the, the, the other team had a goalie, a defense line and a forward line. And um, I got to try and, um, and get to his goal. Every time you win a round, you move closer to the, to the opponent's goal. And the, the team that goes first rolls first. So I roll all my players and they all throw out numbers that are corresponding to um, their, their card. So, every, so this guy can only roll ones and a four and a six. Um, so they're all designed in a particular way and they all have abilities uh, that trigger on certain numbers. So his ability is on a one, he does a minus two to the other player. So this, his teammate rolled a one, he hit the other team for a two. And uh, every time you roll and every time they use their skills, they use stamina, which is kind of like mana. So you're managing that and that's the tactical element of the game. Trying to see when to roll, when to re-roll. I re-rolled my one into a six, that's a pretty good score. So I have a 13 as my total, which is the sum of my dice and my skills all together. They're going to try and beat that 13 to go through. So uh, they'll roll, they'll use their stamina, they'll use their skills, and but they couldn't, uh, they couldn't beat my score, so I go through. Now they'll defend. They'll set a target for me to beat. Uh, they're using their skills. I can always tap and see what they do. So uh, who rolls what numbers? And um, once they're done rolling, um, I'll have to try and use my characters to, to, to break their score. All right, so they're burning all their stamina. So you can see their stamina is going down. Uh, I'm pretty well stocked, so I should have this in the bag. Okay, so now it's my go, and I, I can choose to roll all of them. I can roll some of them. I've beaten them comfortably. My skills are kind of unnecessary at this point, but um, I should go through. And once I go through, I'll meet their goalie. Their goalie will throw out um, his, his dice, which is really bad. Oh, this is going to be hard. Okay, so I got to stop it in the green zone where my high numbers are and try and beat that one. There you go. Nice. So uh, you can choose different strikers who have different spreads and uh, different ways to uh, different ways to score. But um, that's one session. Uh, that's how you win. When you win, you get some currency. Uh, you will uh, rank up if you're playing um, against real people. And. Um, and that's, that, that's the main loop, right? You want to move up uh, as high on the leaderboard as possible. But when you come out, uh, so that was the tactical play, right? You were using your characters. Right. When you come out, uh, the, your main job is to now strategically decide how you want to build and improve that team because the enemies are going to get harder and harder. So there's a few things you have to do. So the first thing is you've got to send everyone to work. And what they do when they work is they start selling tickets to the next big game. And when you have it, the more tickets you sell and the bigger you can make your stadium, the more money you can earn per match but you need to win. And in order to win, you need to make your team stronger. And how you can do that is in a few ways. So one of the cool ways you can do that is you can throw every player into something we call the dicer. And um, let me take this guy whose ability is on a three, he does a minus one to the enemy. So I might like him to get more threes so I can bump this up and turn his two into a three. 
or if I wanted to support my guy who likes ones, I could drop him down to a one. So, and there are, there are only a few changes each character can make. I could go for just pure strength and move up to a four. And, um, and I can manipulate my characters um, in small amounts like this to try and get my, to optimize my deck. Okay. All right, uh, so that's one way to do it. The other way is, of course, I can always go and uh, buy more characters. Um, and then they will, I'll have to add them to my town. And when you add people to your town, well, I got a new guy. So I've got a new character. What I can do with him is I can uh, build him, throw him down. Once I construct his building, he starts contributing to the town's economy. But every player has wants and needs. You might have to talk to them and see what they want. And sometimes they might need more playtime, or sometimes they might want more water in the town or more, or more, or more grass and they might give you advice on how to play better. So there's an interaction and a little bit of a sim, uh, sim management mechanic. You can, uh, depending on what, what your players need to keep them happy, you can build more stuff around them. And um, once this guy is out of his house, um, I can recruit him. So now he's moved into town and he is now part of my, uh, part of my squad. Uh, there's another aspect of, um, of growing your team, which is upgrading your players. So as you collect more pieces of their house, you can upgrade their house. And when you upgrade their houses, um, they will um, unlock more passive skills. So, so now he has, uh, he can get more stamina or he can get more defense. And if I don't like his uh, passive skills, I can also take him into the splicer where I can manipulate his DNA. So I, let's say this guy has more stamina, but I want to give him a crit instead. I can, I can take the crit, the crit gene and, and give it to him. It's pretty in depth. Huh? Throw him in the laboratory. Yeah, so it starts off very slow and very easy, just teaching you how to roll dice and how to add them together and how to move forward and backward. Uh, there's not actually much uh, soccer soccer in it. It's more of these little tactical battles that you, that you do and uh, and then you learn how to build your deck and how to uh, look after your players, how to treat their injuries in the hospital. So it's, it's, it's all very um, easy and intuitive and we ramp you up until you get to this point where you're always trying to figure out what is my next big character going to be and what is my next, what is my next build going to be or how am I going to improve my, improve, my, improve my lineup. So you can go build def different decks, you know, an aggro deck or a control deck. There are, there's a training mode for you to go in. You can talk to the people in the town and see, um, you know, what how they can help you. And there's just yeah, more people will move into your town. So there's a, a lot you can do, but everything funnels towards uh, getting your stadium ready. I, I haven't sold all the tickets I could, uh, so I could wait for uh, more money, or I could just play right away and see see who's next on the server to challenge me, and uh, see how my team does. So you can try. Every character has a different ability, a different way that they will affect your team, uh, a different dice spread, and um, and yeah. So now you can see there's not enough people in the stands yeah. because I haven't sold enough tickets, but. Um, but I can still win and rank up. Yeah, so that's 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 the game. Oh, looks neat. So when's this coming out? Uh, this is coming out. Uh, so we're, we're aiming for a soft launch uh, uh, next month. Okay. Uh, we actually might do, uh, plan to do a, a small beta test before that. So we'll we're actually hoping we can get users from uh, Touch Arcade, uh, who've yeah, sure. always been part of our our tests uh, to test this one out as well. So we'll, we'll be putting this up on the forum and um, and trying to get people to sign up. So these guys are rolling really badly. So if I if I don't like um, some, if my guys are out of stamina or to keep rolling them, I can also um, switch people around. I can I can make some tactical changes, bring someone else in, and hope she can do a slightly better job. Every player also has a we call a foul side, a black side. When they hit that side, they can't roll anymore. So that's like oh, okay. the, that's the terminal point for any character. So there is a, an element of of luck and RNG in the game, but the the strategy and the tactics is how you manage that and um, and how you optimize your deck to play around the RNG and try and get your results as reliable as possible. I'm losing this one. Um, so uh, they're coming towards my goal. I can try and hold them off. I, I may not win this. My guys are running out of stamina. They're all rolling ones. Yeah. yeah so. Cool, man. Well, thanks so much for showing us. So it's going to be free to play? Uh, it's free to play, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's free to play. And the way we like to make our games is we don't like to make it too pushy on the, um, yeah. on the IP. So if you want to buy more characters, you can get them or you can earn the currency and buy them as well. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for showing us. Yeah, my pleasure.